flight and a long bus ride but I'm here in Juarez again for the third time I love this place and I'm at the agency there should be someone here to uh, let me in to give me a room to sleep I can kind of feel the altitude hitting me a little bit uh. <clears throat> finally get to sleep I can't tell if I'm just like really sleep deprived from the travel or if it is altitude sickness but Man, I'm so tired. Got a day hike tomorrow, though. Good night. <sighs> okay, good morning. First day in Juarez. We're gonna do a day hike, but first we gotta find some breakfast. This is my hotel room. It's pretty nice. I like it. This is why I love this place. You get to wake up and look at mountains like this. And the Texas just honk at you all day. So is this our whole group for the day hike today? I think so. This is it for today. All right, we got empanadas. We got a whole bunch of them. That's sick. Look at these whips. Dude. So I believe we have about an hour drive to our first date. Well, my first day hike. These boys already have one on me, so I got to catch up. got the boys. We got a five mile hike up to a Laguna. Nice little day hike to get acclimatized. Feeling good. I feel good. This is nice. We're at 14,000 feet right now. Pretty easy, right? Yeah. Yeah. Alright, let's go take a nap and eat. <laughs> Cheers, brother. Mm. Okay, buenos dias. Today's a prep day in town. I'm gonna do a day hike later. Uh, going to California Cafe for breakfast and editing. I feel good. The trek starts tomorrow, but I definitely need like one more good hike today around these hills. Pretty much got supplies other than renting trekking poles, which would definitely help. So I need to find a place for that. My day hike for today is just a little loop above the city, shouldn't be too bad. Good morning, day one. We are packing up, we've got a lot of stuff, but we also have 12 donkeys helping us carry things. So let's go get some breakfast. Cheers, brother. Cheers, everybody. We're about to head out on a grand adventure. This is David, the mastermind of the trip. Thank you so much. I don't think we'll see Hi, you guys. until the end, so wish us yeah, luck, yeah. right? So it begins a six hour ride to the trailhead, I guess, where we'll set up and sleep. This is gonna be a long ride though. This is the last town before the trailhead. We're just stopping here for a quick lunch. We'll start with a little bit and see where it goes from there. This is some interesting coffee. So we have another three hour drive to where we're going to set up camp. And uh, I think it's about 14,000 feet. So we'll be getting our first taste of altitude. So I guess this is day one of the hike. We just did a quick little, little hike up and down just to get some exercise today. But uh, I'm gonna change, get warm, cause I, it's gonna be cold. And then we're gonna go get tea 
and then eat. You boys are hungry. <laughs> this romantic little pumpkin soup dinner. <laughs> Good morning, it's day two. Last night was cold. <laughs> I'm wearing like everything. I can't wait to just like eat dinner and then get in my sleeping bag. Oh, it's cold. It's so cold. And this morning was cold. <laughs> We're approaching our first pass and then we should have nice views in the sunlight all the way to a nice lake. First pass. Okay, we made it to camp. We're gonna have lunch and then we're gonna go up to the lake before sunset. Feeling good, I have a slight headache, but we're gonna have some rest time, so that'll be good. Now it's really hot. <laughs> it's uh, the extremes out here, hot and cold. So we're just gonna take a nap. I don't feel good at all. doing a quick little hike before dinner to this lake and look at this like golden grass. This is pollo plancha with uh, arroz, set cheese, queso, and potato, pampas. Good morning. As you can see, it's a bit overcast today, which meant that it was much warmer last night. If the clouds are up there, it kind of traps the heat and it was a nice night of sleep. good spot even though it's overcast to fly the drone I got a couple good shots but we can see the three lakes which will go up and then have that famous shot of like the three lakes going down with the mountains time for lunch My little bags <laughs> pretty cool camp we're just like right on the edge of this lake here definitely have nice views of the mountains if there's anything for sunset got a slight headache but probably gonna hit the tea as soon as I'm ready <sighs> dolphins tonight on the menu is steak and eggs and a random banana why not let's go hopefully the clouds clear up a bit tomorrow Morning. Here is your tea. Oh, thank you. Come. It's hot, careful. Yep. See you in 30 minutes. Breakfast. Yes, yes. Good morning. Every morning we pack up all of our stuff, roll up this mat, and then leave our duffel uh, for the Mueller's to pack up. And look at this clear skies. <laughs> We've got lucky. I was hoping for clear skies for this day. Big avalanche. And I'm just gonna take my day pack, my tea, and go into the dining tent and wait for breakfast. Good morning, Sula. We got blueberry pancakes with peanut butter and honey. So today's supposed to be one of the harder days, but we are powered by pancakes, so we got this. So we made it to the first lake, and uh, free solo as well. How are you doing, free solo? Just a beast of a dog. <laughs> uh, but it is turquoise blue, beautiful up here. Beautiful weather. Can't wait to get to the top to get that awesome view.
Okay, you can kind of see people maybe, but we're going all the way up here. And then we'll have a really nice view of the three lakes. Perfect weather today. This is really like one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen. <laughs> I just crushed some drone shots, really good stuff. I'm gonna go help Ryan with his, but like, look at this glacier too. This is gorgeous. Gonna help Ryan out with a little drone shot. BTS of him and his Hasselblad. This lens is a 180. Uh, it's equivalent to about a 100 millimeters in full frame, normal, normal time. About a week ago, I was running around Mont Blanc and now I'm at a pass at the same height as the top of Europe, which is kind of full circle. Okay, so what is this? It's a uh, yuca rellena instead of papa rellena with uh, some pasta. Some pasta. Yeah. Gracias. This is a pretty cool spot for lunch. Well, I think I watched like five super good movies that have been on my list. Good morning. This is the coldest morning yet. It is freezing. There's still frost on the ground, frost on the tents. It's really cold. Okay, so we've reached the hot springs and this is our camp for tonight. It allegedly has Wi-Fi and cerveza. Tuna, bean, uh, carrot, uh, fresh corn. Kenya. You're a good puppy. You're very dirty. That's okay, I can pet you a little bit. Good morning. It is day six. It's very cold and I'm walking circles around camp just to warm up before breakfast. But this poor little guy slept outside this whole night. Today we're going up over one of the highest passes. It's like 16 and a half thousand feet, which should be a new record for most of these guys. We'll see how we feel at the top. Free solo. Free solo. Day six and I am feeling great. Crushing this uphill, we're almost to the pass. I tell you, these poles, Helps so much. <laughs> Big effort. Fuck yeah, man. Ryan's making me trail run again. <laughs> Ryan and I are going with Eric over to an additional lake, some extra miles, because we would have been arriving at camp at like around noon, so why not? This is not a bad spot for lunch.
and a half assigned seats. This is Ryan's seat, the one that's almost breaking. <laughs> oh, that looks worse than I did this morning. Yeah. Good morning. It is day seven. Oh, the sun feels nice. This is 16,600 feet. This is a big pass. In general, I just feel great. I think this is the most acclimatized I've ever been. You know, getting up to 16, almost 17,000 feet and just feeling nothing, you know? So hungry. This view is amazing. This tastes so good. This is one of the best lunches of my life. heading down 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 all the way to like the biggest village on the trek called Hiawapa. You guys see the dog up there? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Hello puppy! Oh it's okay! Everyone's excited for like a hostel, charging, a resupply of food, all those good things but we'll see it's a very small town so we'll see. Checking hostels right now. Okay, this is our three bedroom dorm for the night. seen myself in a week. I look gross. Okay, good morning. It's day nine. We are well rested. I'm feeling better. We're about to leave. Go up, up, up. It's starting to go a little crazy. <laughs> We've been up here for so long, but we're going back into the mountains. Got a one pass, not too bad of a day. I was able to charge three drone batteries. So that's like a full drone battery footage per day. Mushrooms, tuna, and lime. Uh, 
This should be the last big pass we have to do. And then we have a feast tonight at camp, which I'm very looking forward to. This has just been a very long trip. Uh, 11 days is a lot. I think we're all feeling it. You gotta wake up. The horses are going solo. The horses are going. This is a really nice ridge hike. Views all the way around. Why not collect firewood on the way down for this fire? Yeah, this is a really beautiful campsite. It's very nice. This looks great. Whoa. Yeah. Dude, this is a plate. <laughs> I can't wait. This is like a real feast. Javi can't stop smiling. <laughs> oh my gosh. Come here, come. Oh, puppies. <laughs> Okay, day 11, we're packed up. Final push, one quick pass, making our way to the escape with the shuttle, and then drive home to Juarez. Just soaking in the final views. This place is beautiful and this trek was great, but I'm excited to get home. <laughs> Just look at this. Oh, I made it. We made it, lady. <laughs> we did it. Okay, so welcome back. It is a few days since I've returned from Peru after this trip, and it was a long one. This was 11 days of hiking, which is a new record for me. And if you want to hike the same trail and get advice for that, the best way is my all trails map. I made a custom one with photos and the exact route that I took. So if you watch the video and then kind of compare it to that map, it should give you a good idea of where I went, what I did, and what you should do. So it's on my all trails. Just Google Craig Adams all trails and you'll find it. But yes, this was a group hike. I sold tickets and invited five other subscribers to join me, uh, which is a different vibe than if I'm hiking by myself. Uh, this was just a different type of hike in general. Having donkeys and support, a cook, two guides, 
11 days of hiking, you know, in the middle of nowhere. It was definitely a unique experience and I have been wanting to experiment with formats. So this was shot mainly with a drone and an iPhone. I don't usually shoot handheld and I don't usually talk to the camera. So it was kind of fun to experiment with this format and I'm definitely committing to this style whether it's talking to the camera in the moment or just shooting everything handheld with tripod but on iPhone and drone and then maybe narrating after the fact to make the story. I don't know, it's exciting and it needs to be fun and that's what's most important when I go on these trips and make these videos that I still have a passion for it. I was definitely getting a little burnt out with the silent solo walk past the camera type and I can still make those, you know, if I go on a trip by myself and hike, there's nothing stopping me from still flying my drone and then setting up the iPhone on a tripod, walking past and doing that style. But yes, I sold a bunch of Sony things, lenses, a bunch of filmmaking gear, and uh, it's freeing, you know, it's, it's fun to stretch the minimalist muscle a bit to test the waters, see how little I can get away with and making something beautiful with iPhone, which is counterintuitive, is something that is interesting to me. That should be about it. Thank you for watching. Take care.